This is called Prelude to Murders on the Mogollon by me, Robert Hutchison, July 25th, 2019. The Mountain Meadow Massacre of September 7th, 1857. John Doyle Lee was said to have 19 wives and 67 children. The next generation of grandchildren could have numbered 600 to 700. Near Panguitch, Utah, Lee held a position as a Mormon bishop and also a Paiute Indian agent for the area. An Arkansas wagon train led by Captains John T. Baker and Alexander Fancher was traveling through on the Oregon-California trails. They were invited to camp at the Mountain Meadow Ranch owned by Jacob Hamblin, a Mormon peacekeeper. A stake president and militia leader by the name of Isaac Height joined Lee's group disguised as Paiutes. The real Paiutes refused to participate in the scheme that was unfolding to overpower the immigrants. After three days, Lee gained the Arkansas Immigrants Trust by waving a white flag and negotiating to leave all their possessions behind. Lee and the militia escorted small groups to a safe place behind a hill some distance away. At that location, all 85 men and women were murdered using rifles, pistols, bayonets, and clubs in a ravine. 35 children over the age of six were also stabbed to death. The victims who were shot with a bullet had arrows driven into the holes to make it appear as though the Indians had done these horrible deeds. Like pirates taking over another ship, the wealth of this bounty would have been incredible. Forty plus wagons loaded with goods, 160 mules and horses, cattle, goats and sheep, chickens and other poultry, food, furniture, musical instruments, weapons, gunpowder, ammunition, implements and tools, etc. And then, the 17 little girls under six years old who were thought to be able to not remember anything at that age. What value could the spared little girls have had? There's only one conceivable conclusion. They would become future wives for then 45-year-old Lee. Some of the girls surviving this massacre were able to remember some things about their families and witnessed Mormons wearing clothing, jewelry, and seeing other items belonging to their parents and relatives uh, while living among this community. Thirteen years later, in 1870, Lee was excommunicated and exiled to Lee's Ferry on the Colorado River in Arizona Territory. By this time, he must have had a colony. In 1874, Lee was arrested for the 120 murders and again on March 23, 1877. Upon this second arrest, Lee was the only person executed for the Mountain Meadow Massacre 20 years after that event. Of the three choices offered, he chose firing squad, overhanging, or beheading. Interestingly, one of the surviving girls gave birth to two brothers who became killers during the Pleasant Valley War right here and were present during the illegal hangings of Stott, Scott, and Wilson on August 11, 1888.